what do you think that it takes to make a great film the camera your mic your equipment the lens story the set the location today i'm here to talk about some criteria to make a film what do you think that it takes to make a great film as usual i met friends who wanted to make films or some of them who made films the first topic or discussion would always be about the camera your mics your equipment especially the brands the big big brands of say the mic or the camera or the lens so especially in the independent film circle uh they will always talk about digital uh, cameras as in the DSLR cameras and uh it's always discussed especially they will not think about the story like i'm going to come to that point they will think about the drone shots and the the crane that you would buy or you would use some dolly or what are the shots that you use especially with the equipments so so now that i've seen a lot and with my own experience i think so story is the first thing if you don't have a good story then people will be distracted or attracted to something else in your film so if it's a big budget movie maybe they'll be attracted to the the swag of the protagonists or maybe the set the cars the the place where you have shot the location so these i would say that creativity that like set designers costume designers or any of these are not important they are important but if an audience if a viewer is lost in all that that means the story is not that strong you really need to work on the story and get the audience to get and have that feeling of wanting to know more and not just uh yeah entertainment is there but without a great story it's no point and after that i would say actors you you always we always see that uh, when it comes to independent filmmaking i always speak about independent filmmaking because i am I mean, an independent filmmaker and from that background i would always we would always fall in the trap of getting somebody who you know as actors so i think so filmmakers should spend some time invest time in uh, explaining now nowadays every filmmaker would have a workshop where the actors are given a very deep uh, description and that they they do a lot of things and so we have souls are there before they would even shoot the real uh, film and if the the actor does not deliver and we just uh in a hurry to finish all the dialogues and we do two three takes and then we just finish it off and we are in a tight budget and we just want to complete and if the actor just fulfills the gap like what happens is that when filmmakers just get in relatives or friends or close ones to just act they feel like as if uh acting is just spitting out the dialogues or just trying to be to just imagine what happens is that actors like that would only try to observe and remember something which they said in that kind of atmosphere and they would just deliver the lines in that manner so acting is not that easy you need you have a meter in which you meter is the speed of giving out the words and you have emotions you have a dominating emotion and then every line would have a different kind of emotion under that sub emotions kind of if the dialogue is delivered in a very convincing manner then it becomes a plus point for the scene and what happens is that sometimes these new actors would not remember their lines and then they would just make up their lines and sometimes we see filmmakers are just making are doing some scenes and some lines are not even pushing the story ahead and it is not even needed so sometimes the edits are always meant to be about some shots which uh, they fumble or maybe a out of focus shot or something like that but it is all about dialogue delivery also so if the dialogue is doesn't take a story ahead then i don't think so that dialogue should be there in the first place and if the dialogue is put there means it's important so the actors should not recreate their own thing or maybe forget the line if you've written a very good story so that's why why i'm saying first criteria would always be the story and then the actors and then hey, there is sound and there is like so many things coming but i would start off with a good story and good uh, choice of actors as you wouldn't have these agencies who cast actors there are sometimes like a common man will always think that okay i've acted in this and then now i go for another audition and then if you're rejected they think that it is you're rejected as an actor But to make it clear it's you're rejected from that character you don't fit in that character there's so many things that to get you into that there's some characters in such i some films that i've seen 
I would not even think of some other actor in that to be casted in that uh, as that character. So, uh, and writing a good story is not like uh, you just take the story and then obviously you have the three act structure and so many other act structures. There are different types of the thing, and there is an arc. Like you have to write it in such a way that your audience will get will will be glued to the. seat and want to watch more and with all the variety and colors of dialogue delivery and all that will add more flair to it and so whatever part they they have completed watching would not just go in waste whatever they've watched also would be remembered so it's not that you're just watching to know what's happening and this just letting all the dialogues which did not have to be there and they're just going ahead and In that way, they would just forward the part and then get it. That is why people people don't watch some films the second time because they got the plot, the climax is and the, the it's revealed and if it's a suspense, it's there and that's it. They don't want to watch it again. But if we had good acting in that, they would want to watch that dialogue. There's some subtext in the dialogue and why did that person say that and what was the relevance of the visuals that was shown? So there there are many things like so I would say the story and the actors would go hand in hand and obviously the costumes, the lighting, the sound and all they all add up to the the, the thing. But I would always want to write a good story first a good plot that would make a great movie so yeah and and dialogues is just like why does your character want to speak for what reason you can't just have a blab or anything just for the sake of having a comedy scene or maybe get somebody to laugh and all it should have some importance some relevance should be there and it will push your story ahead then only you put that dialogue because the dialogue is driven by conflict so that is what i have to say for filmmaking